Welcome to my channel Medicine Guide. Levofloxacin is a fluoroquinolone antibiotic used to treat infections caused by susceptible bacteria of the upper respiratory tract. Skin and skin structures. Urinary tract. And prostate. As well as for post-exposure treatment of inhaled anthrax and the plague. Brand names. Levoquin. In this video we will discuss the dosage form, strengths, indications with dosages and side effects. So let's start our discussion but before that please subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide. Dosage forms and strengths of levofloxacin. Premix. Ready to use injection. 250 mg, 50 ml. 500 mg, 100 ml. 750 mg, 150 ml. Oral solution. 25 mg per ml. Tablet. 250 mg. 500 mg. 750 mg. Indications with dosages. Community acquired pneumonia. 500 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 7 to 14 days or 750 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 5 days. Nosocomial pneumonia, 750 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 7 to 14 days. Acute bacterial sinusitis. 500 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 10 to 14 days or 750 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 5 days. Limitations of use. Reserve fluoroquinolones for patients who do not have other available treatment options for acute sinusitis. Acute bacterial exacerbation of chronic bronchitis. 500 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for greater than 7 days. Limitations of use. Reserve fluoroquinolones for patients who do not have other available treatment options for acute bacterial exacerbation of chronic bronchitis. Inhalational anthrax. Post-exposure therapy. 500 mg per oral once daily for 60 days, beginning as soon as possible after exposure. Skin, skin structure infections. Uncomplicated. 500 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 7 to 10 days. Complicated. 750 mg per oral intravenous once daily for 7 to 14 days. Chronic bacterial prostatitis. 500 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 28 days. Complicated urinary tract infections and acute pyelonephritis. 250 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 10 days or 750 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 5 days. Uncomplicated urinary tract infections. 250 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 3 days. Limitations of use. Reserve fluoroquinolones for patients who do not have other available treatment options for uncomplicated urinary tract infections. Plague. Indicated for treatment and prophylaxis of plague. Including pneumonic and septismic plague. Caused by Yersinia pestis in adults and pediatric patients. Aged 6 months or older. 500 mg per oral, intravenous once daily for 10 to 14 days. Acne vulgaris, off-label. 100 mg per oral every 8 hours for 4 weeks. Epididymitis, off-label. 500 mg per oral every day for 10 days. Side effects of levofloxacin. 1 to 10%. 
nausea, 7%, headache, 6%, diarrhea, 5%, insomnia, 4%, constipation, 3%, dizziness, 3%, dyspepsia, 2%, rash, 2%, vomiting, 2%, chest pain, 1%, dyspnea, 1%, edema, 1%, fatigue, 1%, injection site reaction, 1%, maniliasis, 1%, pruritus, 1%, vaginitis, 1%, Side effects less than 1%. Cardiac. Cardiac arrest. Palpitation. Ventricular tachycardia. Arrhythmia. Nervous system. Tremor. Convulsions. Paresthesia. Vertigo. Hypertonia. Hyperkinesias. Abnormal gait. Somnolence. Syncope. Metabolic. Hypoglycemia. Hyperglycemia. Hypercholemia. Blood. Lymphatic system. Anemia. Thrombocytopenia. Granulocytopenia. Musculoskeletal. Connective tissue. Arthralgia. Tendinitis. Myalgia. Skeletal pain. Gastrointestinal. GI. Gastritis, stomatitis, pancreatitis, esophagitis, gastroenteritis, glossitis, pseudomembranous, C. difficile colitis, hepatobiliary, abnormal hepatic function, increased hepatic enzymes, increased alkaline phosphatase, psychiatric, Anxiety, agitation, confusion, depression, hallucinations, nightmares, sleep disorder, anorexia, abnormal dreaming, other, immune hypersensitivity reaction, acute renal failure, urticaria, phlebitis, epistaxis. That's enough for this video. If you want to watch more videos like this, keep watching my channel. Disclaimer. Channel's intention is to make sure that its consumers get information that is accurate, reviewed by an expert and error-free. However, the information mentioned here should not be used as a replacement for the advice of a qualified physician. The information given here is for informational purposes only, which may not cover all possible precautions, side effects, contraindications or drug interactions. Consult your doctor and discuss your queries related to any medicine or disease. Thank you for watching the video. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel Medicine Guide.